the Ross Sea, Antarctica. Beautiful, harsh, and extremely fragile. There are places that have a magnified impact on the way the world works, on the way the entire system functions, that we should do everything in our power to protect them as if our lives depend on them, because our lives do depend on keeping them intact and healthy. As you're moving down towards the Ross Sea, it gets richer and richer. You have this sense of it growing. You're about to witness a true concert of life, and, and that's what we actually saw. The Ross Sea is an amazing laboratory, both to understand how marine ecosystems used to work, but also a very valuable laboratory for understanding the effects of climate change. The Ross Sea is a it's a really important ecosystem because all the other large marine ecosystems have been damaged. Um, and so we have one that's reasonably intact. The large cetaceans are still there. We've got the four species of seals. We've got the top fish predator, the toothfish. Our approach was we will make the case for fishing in the Ross Sea but only on the most strict precautionary basis. Even then, though, there was a very serious debate about whether this made any sense to launch this uh, major fishing effort for toothfish, the biggest predator fish in the ecosystem down there. Um, and the U.S. and several other countries, I, I think, put up a very good uh, effort to not allow it to happen. But ultimately, they failed. Why else would anybody want to go to Antarctic waters, to the Ross Sea, if they already had plenty of fish around their home turf, there'd be no incentive. But the fact that we've lost so much everywhere else, the fishing fleets are going further and further, finally to the last wild place, the last ocean. The fishermen own the ocean. They fish first and ask questions later. And we've got another example of that in the Ross Sea. Yeah. I mean, there's no, you know, socially redeeming value about taking a toothfish out and uh, serving it up on a platter to people in the most expensive restaurants in North America. Many humans are no longer at the stage of living hand to mouth where it is just survival. And definitely the toothfish fishery is not a fishery that's based on survival. The true cost, far above the 40 or $50 that you paid for ordering toothfish in a New York restaurant is that essentially you're destroying an ecosystem. We need to think carefully how to bring everybody in all the key countries up to a similar level of understanding about why, why it's important to protect a particular place. So in the case of the Ross Sea, there's a lot of very, very special characteristics about the Ross Sea that uh, would lead most people, I think, to conclude, yes, this is a very, very important site to receive special protection. As a species, is humanity prepared to say, well, despite all the needs for economic expectation, food security, whatever you like to call it, we are prepared as a species to put parts of the world aside for future generations. Marine protected areas work. Small areas, even small areas, make a difference. Big areas make a bigger difference.